Rock star, rock star, now or nay. Nobody can see my way today. I am morning tech today. Nobody gets in my way, way, way. It's a brand new term at the Secret Life Nursery. This is going to be so amazing. Fabulous. With a fresh class of children. <laughs> Let's talk in Maury. And all new adventures. Yeah! With unique access. Love Island's on. To every friendship. Da, 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 da. Hi, girlfriend. Fist bump. <laughs> and every romance. <laughs> oh, that is gross, man. Scuffle. You are so mean to me. And drama. I hate music. With all of the raw emotion. <laughs> oh, what a fool. You break my heart. This is the remarkable secret life of five-year-olds. This week, Yay! a special international class <coughs> arrived from around the world. I came from America, Syria. To explore new cultures. You got your gun license? What do you think of this? Looks like a good classroom. You know, I have a bigger teddy than all of these. I have a big gigantic dinosaur one. What country are you from? Dun, 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 dun. England, England, England. Morning. Hi. My name is Eden. I got to our Welsh school. Can your mum speak Welsh? No, she's like, oh, what's this, what's that, what are you saying? Good morning. It's the start of the week. Oh, I'll get the middle. And teachers Kate and Simon are welcoming a very special international class. It is Harlow, isn't it? And I came from America. Harlow? Ah. Oh. This is our first ever visitor from overseas. What's your name? Vinny. Hey, Vinny. Watching on are Professor Paul Howard Jones and Laverne Antrobus. Fist bump. It's going to be interesting to see how he gets on with the other children and what the other children make of him. I actually do come from America. I come from America. I'm from America. Is that what everyone in America does? Uh, mostly. I'm in America. It's called make it rain. When you actually have cash, it looks better. Hiya. Hi. Morning. Where are your parents from, Omar? Syria. They're from Syria. I can speak Arabic. What's this? What's this? I'm saying this. Smiley, it is a Ashley. Riley, isn't it? My mom's from Paraguay. What's it like there? Um, sunny. What country are you from? Scotland. Who thinks it's going to be a boy that's going to come in? The final member of the class is arriving. You can feel you're being strong enough to open that door for me. Hello. Look! Hello! Hello! Hello. Morning. Hi. Morning. It's Connor, isn't it? Hi, Connor. I'm Kate. Kate? It's a boy, it's a boy, it's a boy. Do you want to come in? You can walk in with me. Come in with me, Connor. I'm five. Shall I get them to be really quiet? Simon, can you get everyone to be really quiet? Yes. OK. I want to come in. The boy, come on in. There's a scene for you just on the end there. I'm gonna, I live in England and I love playing in the sea. I come, uh, I come from America. Yeah. It's really far. America all the way to London. Or yeah, well, farther than that is Australia. 
We're throwing open the doors of the Secret Life Nursery to a group of children from across Britain and around the globe. <laughs> Five-year-olds are just beginning to sense this greater world. So our classroom is the perfect place to see what they know about each other's cultures as well as their own. There's cool things in here. A slide! <laughs> Children are exploring the playground. Wow! I got ya! I got ya! Go on, then. Hey, you boys, wanna go hunting? And Harlow spotted the opportunity for a game. Yeah, we wanna go hunting. Go get some deer for us. Here's my AK 47. Let's go to the woods. I got my assault rifle ready. I see a squirrel. Got him. Guns are a big part of American culture. <laughs> and he's giving him some sort of status amongst the boys. Mm. Are you a lab? In America. What do you know about America? I see man cut on TV. Tall blue things. Really busy. <laughs> Taste that American dream. That's where Captain America's from. America. That's why it's called Captain America. Oh, no, let me show you how to use a gun. First, do this. You got your gun license? Amazing how these gestures are learnt amongst the group. <laughs> Harlow is rowdy. <laughs> Definitely a huge personality. Ooh, ooh. Definitely the life of the party. Harlow appeared on The Secret Life of Five-Year-Olds in America last year. He lives in Los Angeles with brother Hayden and mum Carla, a photographer. <laughs> I love being around Harlow. Every day is fun and he wants to be happy. That one was perfect. He always says, hey, Mom, and I'm like, what? He's like, I love you. Oi, mate, I have a mustache and a beard. He's definitely our boy. He would like love to race motorcycles. It goes about one billion speed. Down, set, hike. Harlow's latest thing is American football. <sighs> he gets to go out and knock somebody out. He has no fear. Oh, cool. He would wrestle a shark. He would do that. He would do it, for sure. We'd like to hear it, wouldn't we? Yeah! Don't like any laughing. Come on. OK, so we have to promise not to be laughing. God save the gracious. God save the gracious queen. God save. He's laughing. No, he's not. He's <laughs> smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Harrison, bring your things up, comments. It's show and tell, and the children are presenting items that say something about where they're from. I'm wearing a coat. He's <laughs> got a scarf. A pro Scotland doesn't wear anything under his coat, no pants. Now there, it's all been revealed. <laughs> OK, now we know. Where is all of the things that you have? Where is it from? Pakistan. How do you use your prayer mat? You get that one, do this, and then do this. Let's give her a big round of applause. Thank you very much, Isha. Well done. OK, Harlow, would you like to come up and yes, show please. us what you have brought? Do you guys know what yodeling is? No, they don't. It's new to them. So yodeling is like this. I got the feeling called the blues solo oh, since my baby said goodbye. And he sings. Lord, I don't know what to do. All I do is inside. Oh, Lord, the last long day she said goodbye. And Lord... Look at Riley's face. I know, it's just open mouth with wonder. Oh, I love to hear her call me sweet. 
Daddy, I lost my heart, it seems. That was brilliant. Thank you very much. Good job. Why oh, are these transfixed? Is this love? Please. <laughs> what do you think of Harlow? I'm not telling. OK, just tell me and I'll tell. Just tell me, I won't tell anyone else. I like his face and his accent. She likes his accent and his face. <laughs> so that means you love him. <laughs> Unicorn, unicorn, run with me! Go after them! In the playground... Unicorn! Harlow and the boys have commandeered the treehouse. This is our club. Oh, yeah. This is just only a boy club. Yeah, yeah. This. Go on. A club. You know, I... What are you doing? It's only a boy oh, club. Unicorn. I'm saying no girls. Hello. Oh, I just want to go up the house. Really. What? What? And place cookers? No, I you can pretend to cook us food, okay? I don't know if she wants to pretend to cook you food, Winnie. Really. I'm going to write something on it. No girls are allowed. How dare you? What is the difference between girls and boys? Boys are strong and girls are weak. I guess. No offense to you. All these tears, mm. and she's Thank genuinely you. upset. No, like this. Get out. What's going on, Riley? He's not being nice to what, me. What is it? What is it that he needs to do to be nice to you? Be kind, like what he's doing to him. Make sure you go really fast. So you want him to include you in the game? <gasps> she so wants to have something meaningful with him. Go. <laughs> Arlo just wants to be pushed around inside a tire. <laughs> oh dear. Come here, you two. How do you think we could finish today a little bit closer to being friends? I don't know. You could do a big deep breath together and then a bit of a hug. What do you think? Whatever. Yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh. So unsatisfying. That's what I didn't want. <laughs> in our country. So my one is at springtime and then I'm going to draw the Queen's castle. It's a new day at the Secret Life Nursery. Connor, tell me what you've drawn. I'm drawing a sea. A sea? And the children have been asked to draw pictures of Britain. So I'm drawing people and this is bagpipes. Call them just like a normal place. It's not got anything like cool like it's not got like a statue like the Statue of Liberty or the France we thing. <laughs> Look at this, this looks so cute. Who's in charge in England? King okay, yeah, the Queen. And what does the Queen do? She has a massive cake. Bigger than all little cakes. Tell us all about the picture you've drawn. Now it's time to present their pictures. This is my pink sunshine. And this is Big Ben. That's a really good Big Ben. Pink sunshine and hearts breathing in the sky. I know. I like this country. <laughs> if you jump up here for me. Next on stage is Connor. Go for it. Tell everybody, show, point things out. So you can point to things and tell us what it is. That is the road. The road? The road? I thought it was world, actually. What else is on it? A house. Oh, no, it is a road and a house, I think. What's the blue bit? Why have you been shy? I'm talking about people. 
Why do you find it difficult? Connor can be quite shy when you first meet him, but then once he's warmed up, he's his true little self. Yeah, he gets that character. It's like a little hurricane. When he gets into his dance, he likes his music. A little entertainer, isn't he? Connor lives in Essex with full-time mum, Emily, sister, Lily, brother, Jack, and dad, Paul, who's a recovery driver. What's that you've got in your hand there? A giraffe. Ever since it was small, we could tell that Connor's speech was um, delayed. What do you know about giraffes? They have different ears. When he went to nursery, they said that he had a severe speech and language disorder. I drive it lips. It's like his mind is going 100 miles an hour and his, his, yeah. his mouth can't catch up. Where's your favourite place to eat dinner at the moment? Oh, guys. Outside. Did you say out? Outside. Connor's finding that difficult because he can't have full on conversations with the children and he can't do the things they're doing. But it won't let the, the speech that they hold him back. <laughs> Connor's at his happiest yeah, running, running around, around, taking his bike out. His icebreaker is comedy. <laughs> He'll start acting full or, or do a funny, face. funny faces to get the kids to play with him. <laughs> He's trying to make the best out of his situation that he can. So there's some skirts there, there's necklaces. You look so cool. Yeah, you look like a rock star. That's why I am a rock star. Dressed to impress, the children are limbering up for a dance-off. Look at my dance moves. Connor, sit down. The winner of this dance competition will win this awesome bag of sweets. I dance a lot at my house. Dance, dance. My mom called me the bestest dancer. Now, I'm not going to be choosing the winner. What? While one person is dancing, everyone else will have a special set of school cards. If you think someone's dancing was so amazing, the best you've ever seen, then you would give them a five. Me first. I'm bad. The lowest score you can give is a one, OK? By the age of five, children have developed an idea of fairness and merit and can judge with these values in mind. That become Isha. What would be interesting in this task is whether they choose to do this or whether they let other factors determine their scoring. <laughs> Look at those feet go. She's got the rhythm. Oh my god, I don't know what I'm going to do. All right, let's give her a round of applause, everyone. <laughs> we set the bar quite high. Shall we see what the scores are? Turn them around in three, two, one, go. All right. Biddy. Do you think that Vinny has realised that the points he's giving out are going to help somebody else potentially win? I think so. Good job. Has everyone got their scores ready? All right, hold them out. OK. Connor and Riley have gone for high scores. Goodbye for you. True altruism. Well, the children are all moving so differently, aren't they? It's incredible. Wow. Connor is very impressed. <laughs> what a spin. Fantastic. Let's give it a round of applause. Good job, Riley. OK. On the count of three, three, two, one. OK. I've got that score. It's a good score. Go sit down, Riley. OK. All right, so is everyone ready for our next dancer? Connor, 
I saw good dance in a world. Well, he's the best dancer in the world, apparently. Take the stage. Excellent. <laughs> well, he's clearly had lots of plaudits for his dancing, hasn't he? <laughs> oh, my goodness me. He's certainly got the vibe. He's feeling the music. Mm. <laughs> Sometimes he may be frustrated with his speech. And this gives him another way of expressing himself in a way that entertains other people. Yeah. It's a bit of a comedian. Oh, my gosh! <laughs> All right. But I think he deserves a round of applause for that. Give him a round of applause. All right. I think we're going to get some high scores. Mm. One, two, three. Turn them around in front of you. OK. Yes. So hold them up for me. So... Yes! Yeah, I've got to say, it was a very, very close competition. All right. When I was adding up the scores, I'm like, oh, that's going to be a tight one. Connor is really anxious about the outcome mm, of this yes. competition. With a score of 18 points was Riley. What? A round of applause for Riley. Ooh, mixed feelings here. <laughs> Riley, here are... <laughs> Young children really are picked up by yeah. their parents, quite rightly. But then you've got to be prepared for what happens when you meet your peers. Look, he's crying. You don't need to cry. Here you go. Look. Right, one. He's got that freeze pose, which makes you think mm. that absolutely he's having to work really hard to get himself out of this. So we've got to... No, I don't want to. No! I thought, I'm not me. Oh. You want to cut me bad, though? Mm. Why don't you want one of these gummies? Because I'm it got me bad. What are you thinking about? My mom say, Mummy, baby, I live in a cave. Right. And now I have a, a gummy house. There we go. Yeah. I make it, I have gummy beds, I have gummy walls, I have gummy toys. Oh, my God. It's so impressive what Riley's been able to do there. Very. She didn't abandon him. You no. Know? Sometimes when somebody's really down, it can mm. be a really difficult emotion to be close to. I would describe Riley as a tomboy princess. She likes dresses. Yeah with some rips and some tears. Yeah. Riley lives in London with Mum, Kiara, who's a teacher, Dad, Grant, an actor, yeah. and brother, Jude. I'm gonna do it here. Riley is very creative. I colour in everything. She loves to paint. She loves to make things out of nothing. I do it because it's my wall. And we embrace that. Hello. <laughs> She's very Latin. Vamos a hablar un ratito español? No, no quiero. ¿Por qué no? ¿Por qué no quiero? Está haciendo este. I'm South American and I can really see that in the way she wants to touch people and cuddle move people and hug and, and move. And she falls in love with people all the time. And she wants to show her love. I love your hair, Tessa. Thank you. For her, that's like a true happiness. Hey, yeah. Bravo! Bravo! <gasps> oh, my goodness, God! Oh, my goodness, God! Oh In the classroom, God. Riley is making something for someone special. That's a long name. No, 
know that's my name because it's for Arlo. And that's I love, love you, you, okay? I love you. <laughs> Do you know what love is? Yes. You don't even know what love is. <laughs> it makes blood pressure go faster. It makes the heart go bum 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 bum. You have to do this. Something called snogging. Love is we have a girlfriend and have kids and then you marry. Then it's we love. Someone's calling me. Yellow. Okay, bye. What's inside, Riley? A card. Why do you want to give this to Harlow? Because I just want to... If you want to see what I can do. He can go up there. I didn't see you guys that up! Oh, great, my worst enemy is here. It's very important for Harlow to maintain this tough guy image, yes. isn't it? I've got something for you. What? OK, what is it? Here we go. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh dear. Do you have a girlfriend? No. Would you like a girlfriend? No. I want to be single my whole life. What's this, guys? A card. She said she loved my dance and it made me embarrassed, so I ripped it. It's a very honest yeah, expression that, of what happened. That really is. How do you feel about that, Riley? Sad. Sad. Did you tell him that? She made me mad. But I don't want her to feel sad, I would guess. Maybe you should do or say something to Riley. I'm gonna sorry? Be, yeah, I'm gonna leave you guys with that, OK? I think we will be, like, friends or something. There we go. You can do what you want. But I've left it just so that you can put it back together. There. Fixed. What do you want to play? I don't really know yet. Come on. <laughs> I'm, I'm going on the middle one. Of uh, that table there, Omar. So you go in the middle the of that. The children one. are gathering to face a challenge. What's that? I'll tell you in a minute. In a test of their taste buds, they'll have to identify foods from all around the world. The captain of this team over here is Vinny. And the captain of the team over here is Omar. Where are you from? Syria and England. The winning team will each receive a stupendous trophy medal. If you were in charge of the country, what food would people eat? Um, pizza and chocolate and cake. Underneath this, I have a special kind of food that people eat in a country that's a bit of a delicacy. Children quickly learn to be wary of new foods. This ability has evolved and it helps protect them from eating anything poisonous. It'll be fascinating today to see if the children can overcome this aversion. Omar's team, what is that food? What is it? I don't know. Well, talk about it and maybe have a guess if you're not sure. Jelly is it balls. jelly balls? Jelly balls. Okay, is that your answer? Yes. It is not jelly balls. Oh. No. Yeah. Okay. No. It is... Fish eggs. If any of you would like to taste it, I can give a point for each person that tastes the food in front of them. Do it, man. Eat it, eat it. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh. It was disgusting. <laughs> what did they taste like? 
ham sandwich with poo. Yeah! Oh! Caterpillar eggs. It is actually crickets. Oh. That looks disgusting. Are you right, Vinny? They had to eat bugs. Oh! Two. Well done. On your plate is seaweed. I'm not even going to try it. Yeah. It's too disgusting. <gasps> Who on your team is going to try it? octopus? The teams are now neck and neck. Omar, it's down to you. Are you going to eat some? Come on, eat it. Please. It'll be an extra point if you do, Omar. It tastes like so good. Eat it. Isn't it? It's that. It's that. It's that. But please don't spit it out. Eat it, eat it. If you spit it out, I'm just going to cry. I told you! Who's the bravest person on your team? Me. Well done. Omar is happiest when he has chocolate. I can see big smile, like he has everything. Omar lives in Nottinghamshire, with Mum Taria, a student, older brother Noor, and Dad Fahid, a football coach. Assalamu alaikum. Tamam, alhamdulillah, mashaillek, Omar. Inti shlona chakbarat. We are refugees from Syria. Our city in Syria called Homs. I was a goalkeeper with a Premier League team called Al Karama Sport. The life was easy. We were all together, the families living around each other. He wants an aeroplane. But uh, we have to leave because there is a war. We talk about Syria a lot because it's really important for our children to know their background. When we came to the UK, Omar was two years and a half. And he quickly learned English. One, zero. Sometimes other children don't want to play with them. And he doesn't know the answer why they don't want to play with me. I say to him, it's hard when you came to the new country. Don't worry, he will make a friend. Yeah, just trying, good trying, some stuff like this. Who wants to see this? It's my turn. Hey, man, you want to see me get up here? It's my turn. Why did you do that, Vinny? Ow! For the past five minutes, Omar's been attempting to get a turn on the monkey bars. I want to play the on the it's monkey It's my turn first. Omar's really being ignored here, isn't mm. he? It's my turn. I think he's really struggling to establish his place in the group. No, it's my turn. The hierarchies amongst boys are usually sorted out through boisterous play. Dominance. Dominance, <laughs> in a physical sense, yeah. I'm big old. Stand up. And don't cheat. Well, he's too little. No, I'm not. It does stay down like that. No, you're, you're cheating. No, I'm not. I'm just trying to get you down. Then he's decided that Omar is a particular place in the pecking yes. order, and Omar yeah. needs to realise that, and he's not going to take no for an answer. Oh, I, I would you like to play superheroes? Because I'm Black Panther. I want to be um, Spider-Man. I want to be... You can't be any because you're too small. No, I'm not small. I'm bigger. Baby. Stop. He stands up for himself, doesn't mm. he? Baby. I'm not a baby. Yes, you are. You are a baby. Are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Baby. It's amazing how quickly children can turn on themselves. Yes. Yeah. And there's my machine gun in there. Oh, yes. I'm not a baby. Baby. No, I'm baby. not. Baby. Yeah, you can come in. 
No, not the bite, but you're a big boy. Oh, I'm kind of sticking up for him. Sure, I can get him. That will be a good thing. Oh, oh he's coming, he's coming. It's on lockdown. He's not a baby. I said, no. no. And you wouldn't be rude. Oh. I put my hands up. You're coming to jail. Connor has arrested Harlow. Yeah, what? In jail! Connor, he's becoming a real moral arbitrator here, isn't he? What do you want to be when you grow up? A policeman. Why do you want to be a policeman? Go like catching bad guys. When you a baby again, I'd have to do. Connor's my friend. I will come here. Sorry. Hey, friend, come here. What? Friend, I'm making my mom a burger because tonight is football. Yeah. I know. Let's have a cup of drink. Oh, look. Love Island's on. Oh, Love Island? Yeah, watch it. Come and sit here, darling. I found this baby monkey yesterday. What, at the zoo? Yeah. What, all alone? Yeah. I'm the mummy monkey and you're the daddy monkey. You're having soup with meatballs. Yeah. I love you, daddy. No bananas. Mm. <laughs> <gasps> oh, oh, my God! God. Oh, they come that? over here. <laughs> Facing the children in the garden is a very particular cultural experience. This is Brian the Bull. An all-American bucking bronco ride. You know, I did that one. Connor's not sure. I'm not going to go now, but I'm definitely doing it. I'll be like, yay! -hoo! I'll be, a, I'll stay, I'll stay on there for 24 hours. Yay! Harlow has shown such enthusiasm for it, though. I think he may have seen one <laughs> yes. before if he hasn't actually experienced yes. one. Can you go? First volunteer to ride the bull is Harlow. Hold on then. Oh. <laughs> I thought this was going to be easy. They're all transfixed, aren't they? Yeah. They're all thinking, what would it be like for me to be doing that? They're all thinking of themselves in that situation. Ooh. To beat the Bronco, he and the rest of the children need to hang on for the entire ride. Harley! 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 Whoa! 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 <laughs> He's all right. Yeah. Having seen him on it, that's given them the confidence to think, have a go at that. What did you ride today? A bull. And what did you think of it? It, it was real, wasn't it? It wasn't. Connor, are you ready? Connor, it's your turn now. A bit pensive. Connor, 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 Connor. Come on then. Connor, Connor. Don't you worry. Right, you ready? Put one hand a bit closer up there. Right, hold on tight. Right, here goes Connor. Right, hold on. Doing quite well, yeah, actually. After a full 90 seconds. My goodness, Connor didn't even fall off. Connor has triumphed. He's the winner good from job, the day. Well done. <laughs> so good boy. Cool. Uh, good boy. I know he, he did 
fall off. That was the best. I said Danny and up. I know who stayed on for the whole single ride. Connor. Connor? Connor stayed on for the whole single ride on that ball. I know that. I watched him. And I was like, what? Well done, Connor. Connor well done. Connor. You got a crush. I have two girlfriends. I'm not going to marry nobody. <gasps> you need to marry people. Yeah. It's the final lunch of the week. She is going to marry me. And conversation has turned to romance. Who are you going to marry? Not me. Not me. Not me. Not me. Did he say you? I have a crush. I have a crush on her. What do you think about Connor? Cheeky. Too silly old me. He makes me laugh. Oh, Ma. <laughs> Good size. Yeah. They look real lovely. On the other side of the garden, Connor and Riley have found a quiet spot. I love it. I feel like I have a date. I feel like I have a date? Is that what he said? Does Riley know she's on a date? <laughs> I wouldn't marry. Huh? I wouldn't marry and kiss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> he didn't kiss you. For real? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Get a pity. Yeah. You want me to kiss you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what did it feel like? Good. You have to say lovely if you like it. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> We love each other. It's mad mad about something like that. I just want to sing it because it's my favourite. Just song. sing it quietly if you want to sing, okay? Before Harlow flies home, he's decided there's something he needs to do. Um, how, how do I say Connor? C O. Oh. When I first saw Connor, I was like, uh, I don't know about being his friend. And then now I'm like, hey, buddy. Okay. Riley introduced this idea mm -hmm. of giving a card, saying how you feel, and a few days later, here he is doing it himself. Yeah. Yeah. There's something on the floor for you. Uh, I don't think I might. Give that to the teacher and the teacher will open it. Please open it for me. What's what? Please open it. Open it? Yeah, for me. It's for you. Connor. I'll do it a little bit. Connor's best friend. What is your favorite color? P.S. Harlow. What is your favorite color? Brand red. You can take that home, show it to your mom, and yeah. I will miss you. Are you, are you my best friend? Yeah, I will miss you, mate. I'll miss you too. Sit down, guys. To end the week, there's one final surprise. As you can see, we've got a very special visitor. He's bigger than all. He's definitely bigger than us. So, would you like to feed the camel? Yay! 
Okay. Here we go. I'll come with you. I can't believe it's a camel. Well done. Well done. Good boy. Yeah. <laughs> this week, I've been genuinely impressed by the children's willingness to embrace the new and the different. Good boy. Uh, <laughs> Difference can be something that divides us. But these five-year-olds have developed an interest in each other's backgrounds. I just want to be a camel. Why? Work through their clashes. Got a carrot. Well done. You got big teeth. And really bonded with each other. Let's go see Mr. Camel. Emerging as more rounded, open and adventurous young children. Right. Well, well. UK kids are cool. What's um, it doing? Well, <laughs> I actually do love London more than America. <laughs> a good friend here. He turned over there. Boo. <laughs> we got a super handshake like this to it. Next time. The five-year-old celebrates success. Who is your hero? Jamie Corbin. Yay! Yeah! And face up to failure. I 